Drop by Ghosts, caught on camera. Attachment. Tammy Germothy says that paranormal activity has become a regular part of her life. Tammy believes that a dark entity has attached itself to her and follows her from home to home, no matter where she moves. Tammy is so intent on capturing evidence of the supernatural activity that she experiences on a daily basis that she set up multiple motion-activated security cameras all around her home in Mountain House, California. For the first time ever, she captures what she has witnessed firsthand throughout her life on camera. Her cameras capture extreme poltergeist activity as furniture and objects move on their own. And then, most terrifying of all, a pale figure can be seen looking out from behind a wall. And these spooky incidents are just the beginning of what Tammy captures on her cameras. On January 30th, 2020, Tammy packs up her life and moves from California to her new home in McKinney, Texas. Almost immediately after moving in, the paranormal activity starts up once again, and the events only seem to get worse as Tammy, her cats, and even her dog are terrorized by the dark presence in her home. So he's literally been standing there now for about 10 minutes. Won't come when I call him, hasn't moved at all. Just keeps staring in here at me. Really kind of creeping me out. Tammy's cats seem visibly spooked by something we can't see. And as her cute little doggie is alone in the kitchen, a fork suddenly launches from the dishes in the kitchen sink and lands in an empty frying pan. Another area in Tammy's new Texas home that seems to attract a lot of supernatural activity is her bedroom, where she keeps a collection of antique dolls, old photos, and clothing in a wooden and glass display cabinet. Over the years, Tammy has captured countless motion-activated videos of terrifying activity in her home, and she begins to share her videos online on TikTok for the world to see. She immediately begins to receive a lot of attention from concerned paranormal fans as she frequently uploads her haunting experiences. To Tammy's horror, the unknown entity that she captured on camera in her old home seems to have returned with a vengeance. A strange mist seems to appear in Tammy's kitchen, living room, and bedroom. Creepiest of all, the same pale figure that she captured on camera in California seems to appear in her new Texas home's bathroom mirror. So what do you think is going on in Tammy's home? Could a dark entity have made a connection to her and now be following her from home to home, never stopping? As always, I leave it up to you to decide. You can watch all of Tammy's paranormal experiences over on her TikTok page, The Haunted One 36, and her YouTube channel, The Haunted One. Leave and Die. Popular Japanese ghost hunters Gachan, Daichan, and Yasuke from the YouTube channel Clip Store are contacted by a viewer who tells them the story of the historic Sabukawa village in Miyazaki Prefecture, Japan. 
The small Japanese village was built way back in 1597 in a remote area high in the mountains. The mountain village had no roads and was a bit dangerous to travel to. So by the mid-1900s, many of the villagers began to leave the settlement. By 1989, the historic 400-year-old Sabukawa village was completely abandoned. An anonymous viewer tells the ghost hunters that a few years ago, a friend of hers went to visit the decaying and empty houses of Sabukawa village, deep in the mountains. The urban explorer told her that he was confronted by an angry old couple who seemed to be living in the abandoned village. Strangely, they told him to, quote, leave and die. Allegedly, only six months after his journey to the village in the bizarre meeting, the man passed away. Now, the viewer says that as inaccessible as the mountain village is, it seems very unlikely that an old couple would be living there all alone. So considering the odd encounter and the man's subsequent death, the viewer is convinced that the people that her friend met were actually angry, vengeful spirits. The Clip Store team sets out to investigate whether the abandoned Sabukawa village might be haunted. When they arrive at the location, they realize just how hard it is to reach the town. They have to leave their car and continue hiking on foot. After they finally arrive at the village, the team decides to split up and meet back in 30 minutes. They all set timers on their phones and go their separate ways to explore. In the dead of night, Clip Store host Gachan discovers the ruins of an abandoned school. What happens next is downright creepy. Oh, <laughs> え。え。Gachan discovers that the building is on the verge of collapse, but still from somewhere inside, he hears the sound of someone running, followed by the loud bang of something slamming or falling. Gachan's timer alerts him that the 30 minutes are up, and then there's some strange loud bang from inside the creepy building that seems to agree. Gachan returns to the entrance of the village where he finds fellow investigator Yasuke. The two guys wait for their friend Daichan, but he just never shows up. The guys start to get worried and decide to go look for him. After a long search, they finally find Daichan in what appears to be a long abandoned house. Daichan! 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 Daichan is confused and possibly dehydrated, just sitting there as if in a daze but his camera is still recording. Fearing for Daichan's health and safety, they decide to just get out of there and make the long hike back to the car. Later, when they look back at Daichan's captured footage, they are shocked to their core. Daichan seems to have encountered something absolutely terrifying. This is the footage from Daichan's camera. え、
神が登りちゃう家がある Daichan suddenly sees a bizarre pale face staring back at him from behind a door. In shock, he stumbles back and falls, but when he gets back up, the mysterious creepy face has disappeared. But then, as he turns around, he sees a man wearing a traditional Japanese robe, kneeling at a Buddhist altar on the other side of the abandoned home. Later, when his friends find him and Gachan walks outside, the same terrifying apparition of the man in the robe can be seen at the window, just watching him as he leaves. So did the clip store team capture real paranormal activity in the abandoned Sabukawa village? Let me know what you think. You can watch this entire two-part investigation with even more scary paranormal moments over on the Japanese YouTube channel, Clip Store. Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. Now, if you've watched Nukes Top 5 for very long, you know all about the YouTube channel Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. But for anyone new, here's a quick recap. So a man named Kent Burris says that he and his family live in a house that is extremely haunted by multiple ghosts. Over the years, Kent has posted over 100 spooky paranormal video captures to his channel, Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. Okay, there he is, in the window again. You guys say something or do something. Oh my God! No! Oh. Now, in Kent's latest video series, he plans to spend 72 hours all alone inside his haunted home, as he believes this might ramp up the paranormal activity and also make the incidents easier to verify. This video is about being alone in the lamb house for 72 hours, because when you sleep in this house and you know there's other people in this house, 
you know, you, you question whether something was paranormal related, but you're not sure because there's other people in the house or the cats are in the house. Now, during this 72 hours, the cat stayed out on the porch the whole time. Throughout the day and night, Kent captures multiple strange EVPs throughout his home. And some of the messages are truly disturbing. Are you in the kitchen now? Female disembodied voice. And some of the supernatural EVPs that Kent captures even seem to be chilling threats focused directly at him. Now as Ken is recording EVPs, he is also capturing video. When he reviews his footage later, he realizes that he captured something else in his house. Something absolutely horrifying. Now when I was doing the captions on these EVPs, I noticed something really strange by the steps. Well, I went to brighten it up and just to check it out, just out of curiosity. dark figure with an odd distorted face seems to be peering at Kent from around the corner of a doorway, but it's so dark that he doesn't even notice. Later, Kent heads upstairs to film in his bedroom, but he suddenly hears an odd unexplained noise right behind him. Now, when I go through the door of the bedroom, I hear a strange sound behind me, and I turn the camera around really fast. Now, I didn't see anything there, but out of curiosity, when I was going over these recordings, after I saw what was captured on the stairway, I also brightened up, lightened up the recording from when I spun the camera around, and there was another strange anomaly captured. Ken hears a noise and as he spins around, he captures an unexplained shadow that seems to descend the stairs and disappear from sight. So did Kent capture evidence of the paranormal in his home? Check out his full two-part series over on his channel, Ghosts of Carmel, Maine, and decide for yourself. Viewer Videos Nuke's top five viewer, Jordan By, sent in a video that he took while on an exploration trip to Bodmin Moor in Cornwall, England. Bodmin Moor is a very remote 80 mile stretch of land that is full of eerie legends and historic abandoned properties and ruins. The area is so remote that Jordan and his friend James Wheeler had to walk three hours into the wilderness just to find it. One bit of famous folklore from this area is the gruesome tale of Charlotte Diamond, a young girl who in 1844 had her life tragically and brutally taken on Bodmin Moor. The man who took her life, Matthew Weeks, was hanged for his crime, and to this day it is said that both of their spirits roam the moorlands. So, Jordan and his friend James are taking videos of an abandoned home in the middle of nowhere in Bodmin Moor, and they capture something truly chilling. Did you see it? 
When the footage is slowed down, the face of a child can be seen looking into the window from the other side of the abandoned building. Jordan doesn't even notice and has no idea what he's just recorded as the little face seems to just duck away from the window. The explorer claims that he and his friend James were the only ones there and he believes that the face might belong to the restless spirit of Charlotte Diamond, the girl who lost her life there so many years ago. But what do you think this could be? Let me know down in the comments. In another creepy video, Nuke's top 5 viewer Yanis Tassis from the city of Kozani, Greece claims that he was on his way home one night when suddenly he hears a very bizarre sound. He quickly takes out his phone and begins to record. <laughs> Giannis explains that the small structure is the entrance to the town's water tank, and he believes that whatever he's hearing might be something echoing from inside the tank. But echoing from where? Either way, whatever the sound is remains a mystery to this day. Viewer Jesse Chapman claims that late one night her sister, who lives in West Virginia, captured something very strange on her CCTV doorbell camera and she simply can't explain it. creepy translucent figure appears to be walking on the lawn right in front of Jessie's sister. But Jessie's sister says she didn't see anyone or anything at the time, and she has no idea what the security camera captured that night. But whether it's something paranormal or just some very, very odd video glitch, as always, I leave it up to you to decide. The House of the Scarecrow Paranormal investigators Kevin Barranco and Fabio Adalco from the popular YouTube channel Archivo Extinto travel to an abandoned farmhouse in Mexico that locals claim is extremely haunted by a bizarre humanoid entity that they call, quote, the Scarecrow. It is said that an elderly couple who used to live in the large farmhouse tragically passed away after being abandoned by their own family. Their remains were not discovered for many years and the farm was left in a severe state of decay. Over the years, local residents and even visitors to the farm began to tell the frightening story of a scarecrow-like spirit that terrorizes anyone who dares to set foot on the haunted property. Ghost Hunters Kevin and Fabio set out to investigate whether the stories are true. Very soon after the guys arrive, they find something strange hidden behind a pile of bricks and immediately after they pry it loose and pick it up, they witness something downright creepy. Ah, no mames. ¿Qué? 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 No. ¿Qué? ¿Qué? No. ¿Qué? ¿Qué? Me lo llevo.
Blah. Alguien se metió. Kevin and Fabio find an odd small figurine hidden underneath a pile of bricks. And then suddenly right behind them, a door closes on its own. The two explorers immediately head in to investigate. But they find nothing to explain the door's movement. As they continue to look around, things take a terrifying turn. Kevin spots someone or something looking at them from behind a doorway. They rush over, but again, no one there. That's when the two friends hear a blood-curdling deep growl or shriek coming from somewhere nearby. So did Kevin and Fabio capture the sinister humanoid entity that the locals call, quote, the Scarecrow? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. You can check out this full investigation and many more creepy videos over on the YouTube channel, Archivo Extinto. Thanks so much for watching. Look at my Instagram, it's right there. Look at my Twitter, it's right there. And look, there's a thing. Anyway, hopefully I'll see you next week.